Mankind has gazed at the night sky with wonder, and over time, as our civilizations developed, we began to ask ourselves, are we alone? The planet Mars has often been paired with this question. After all, it is one of our closest neighbors and is eerily similar to our own Earth. Polar caps, annual seasons, evidence of water, but nothing except our own imaginations. The year is 1938. Orson Welles steps into his Mercury Theatre on Air radio booth. He begins reading a reworked draft of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds a version designed as a radio play in mind. Little did he know what would happen next. When the original book was first published in 1898, the radio did not exist, so the idea of taking the classic story and reworking it for a new medium was genius. For the true-to-life-esque breaking news segments coupled with the studio sound effects and lack of ad breaks effectively tricked the handful of listeners just tuning in. So with people panicking about a potential invasion, and keep in mind World War II was just around the corner, misinformation began to spread. But instead of social media echo chambers and chat rooms, it was through the humble telephone. It wasn't long until police entered the radio station to interrupt the broadcast. But by then, the show was over, and the reporters were soon to follow. The next day, on October the 31st, on behalf of CBS and the Mercury Theatre, Wells answered questions, issued an apology, and made a statement about the event that transpired that led to this mass panic. time you were giving this role, were you aware that terror was going on throughout oh, no. the nation? Oh, no, of course not. You know, we did Dracula, and uh, it seemed to me during Dracula I had high hopes that people would uh, react as they do in a movie. While the broadcast tricked a handful of people, the media took this story and exaggerated it to sell more papers, for there was no evidence whatsoever of any mass riots at all. In fact, most people that it frightened assumed first that it was the Germans, not aliens. In fact, one could call it fake news. This is but one example of Mars's cultural impact on the human condition. Besides, it's not like Martians are even real. Well, that's unsettling. 